Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Salty Life. I hope you're all well and staying safe. It's been so long now since I brought anything new for my aquarium. Hopefully this epidemic ends soon so we can all go back to doing the things we love and for me that's buying new things for my tank. Today I'm going to show you how I feed my anemone, what I feed him and when. I will take you through the steps as I do them with some tips along the way. I just want to say a big hello to all my new subscribers, it's great to have you with me on my journey. So let's get started. So I have an RBT which is a rose bubble tip anemone. They are absolutely stunning, fascinating creatures and mesmerising to watch. I've had my RBT now for over three months and it's doing really well. It's always out and open and fully extended. In the beginning it moved twice and then settled on its third location and hasn't moved since. So hopefully he stays happy there as it's in the perfect location for me too. In full view and away from my corals. I feed my anemone once a week with these prawns. I buy a frozen bag of them from the supermarket for about a pound fifty. I usually feed my nem in the evening, one because I know I'm at home at that time of day and two because the nem has been up and about all day. You can feed any time but I find evenings to be best. You only want to feed a tiny bit because if you overfeed your anemone it can throw it all back up which could affect your water parameters. So if you get a fairly big chunk like this you will want to cut it in half maybe even into thirds because it's better to feed two little pieces within a week than one big piece in one go. But if you get a piece this size it will be fine to feed the whole thing. So once you have the perfect piece to feed your anemone put it in a little cup. I use these measuring cups for fish food preparation and for nem food prep. Once you have it in the cup, add a little bit of your tank water, this will help it to thaw quicker. Always defrost the food before feeding it to your anemone. Now once it has thawed out, you can grab the piece of prawn with long tweezers, but I don't have any so it's fine to use your hands. Just a couple of recommendations if you're using your hands. Wash them with plain water, no soaps. I dry my hands with paper towel to make sure I'm not contaminating my clean hands with anything that might be on my towel. I don't want to introduce anything to the tank water I don't want, which is why it's necessary to rinse your hands and dry thoroughly every time you put them in the tank. Then take the piece of prawn out of the cup, squidge it to make sure it's soft, and then feed your anemone. Try and get it as close to the mouth as possible so it's easier for the nem. If you do put it on the edge of its tentacles it's okay he will move it to his mouth himself. Just watch out for any cleaner shrimps or fish you have because they might steal it from the anemone. And that's it, I do this once a week. You don't have to feed your anemones as it mainly uses photosynthesizing microorganisms that live inside them to live happy. Bubble tip anemones obtain much of the energy they need from light, but to make them really flourish, BTAs need a regular source of protein in the form of small meaty morsels of seafood. That's why I choose prawns once a week. I've had a couple of people on Instagram ask me what I feed my RBT, so hopefully this video helps you all out with your anemone feeding questions. But if you still have questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and come join me on my salty journey. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.